Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I'm going to burn a little sage here. I'm telling you guys, who we this eclipse season is going to be a shake and bake <laughs> for all zodiac signs. I mean, seriously, Almost every single reading I've done has been intense in some way, shape, or form. Expect changes, guys. Maybe you'll be the exception to the rule. I'm doing Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and all cross watchers. If you're a cross watcher, I need new sage. This don't want to burn. If you're a cross watcher, just know that spirit knows who's watching, and the story could be aimed at you instead of being about your person there we got a little flame i didn't think it was going to burn par for the readings i'm telling you who i need to clear clear and center all right so aquarius i've got a couple of announcements as of june 1st my patreon account um or membership is going to be open for anybody who really digs my readings and would like to uh, be in our community, because especially if you resonate with being a twin flame or being on the Ascension journey, if you get me, right? Not everybody gets me. I understand. Sometimes I don't get me. But if you get me and you want to be part of the community and you feel like you are on this journey with me, then uh, go check it out, because as of June which is the reading I'm doing. Um, we are doing extended for every reading on the 1st and the 15th, every one of the Zodiacs and possibly even extended for my pick piles and stuff. I don't know. I got to figure out how I would do that. That's not a, I don't want to, that's a, I got to figure it out. But um, check out Patreon. It will be linked as of June 1st underneath the video. I'm not launching it until after midnight on May 31st because I didn't want anybody to get accidentally charged twice. They charge a recurrent fee on the first of every month. Okay, so we'll just start on the first and be good with it. Um, now I'm just creating content. So when you join, there's not going to be a bunch of stuff already there waiting for you, but you're going to get everything I create from that day moving forward. Um, and if you, well, just go watch the video. I made a video. Screw it. I'm not going to go into it here. But um, I do want to tell you I'm doing a gratitude drawing every other month. And uh, this month it'll end on the last day of June. And there is a a star hollandite crystal. I have it right here on my table. If you don't know what it is, um, go look at, let's see if I can get the stars to show. See those stars in there? They're hard to see, but they're special. Trust me. Uh, there's a link for you to read up on it on my community tab, along with everything that's included in the drawing. There's a, a two decks of cards. There's the Star Hollandite Crystal. There's a tarot, how to read tarot like Tracy print out. It does have some typos, but I don't have, my printer took a dive, so I probably won't get that corrected. I'll just mail it to you. It's not that bad. A couple typos here and there, but um, you get that. And you get a free 20-minute reading from me. And it's all done in gratitude. Anybody who contributes to my channel by joining Patreon, by um, sending me a donation for a cup of coffee or a deck of cards or orders a personal private reading, um, everybody who contributes in any way, shape, or form to the success of this um, channel uh, by supporting us financially, then you are entered in that gratitude. So this is for the month of June for the sign of Aquarius. And I'm going to bring you down. We're going to talk about your finances in your career in the month of June. And we're going to talk about your love and romance. Oh, and I forgot to get you a door. <gasps> we can't go without a door. Can I get a door, please, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the month of June? we get a door there it is all right sorry i thought i had everything out but i forgot to get you a door you got a pretty green door anyhow finances and career love 
and relationship. And I have to tell you, they've been kind of blending together. So take what resonates, okay? Just so you get it. So there will be an extended for this, but it will only be available to those who join Patreon at the four, $4.44 a month or higher. Okay, and all the just uh, everything you need to know will be listed. So eight of swords in your finances and career. Oh, and three of swords hiding under that. Hmm. I'm hearing that for some of you guys, you've been stuck in a job that you just don't like. Let's take a look at why. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so I've got the Ace of Cups, which is fondness. But under here is that Three of Swords, and I'm noticing the heart. Let's just talk about the Puff Heart for a moment. This It's got a nail in it. <laughs> Ouch, right? That hurt. So for some of you in finances, um, you've been doing something that you're very fond of, that you love or did love. Oh, God. You know, the more my channel grows, I'm grateful, grateful, grateful. But the more energy that comes in, there's so many storylines. So, all right, we've got the three of swords with the eight of swords. This is something that's ancient. It's a dinosaur and it's being kept in a glass globe. And spirit says something from the past, possibly maybe something that you've been doing for a long time. You feel stuck. You feel stuck. You don't like it. Maybe you've been daydreaming about change. Maybe you got stuck, literally, like uh, somebody stuck it to you. Because you got two queens here. We got the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. And it's like the Queen of Cups is intuition. This is like feeling something. Probably that Three of Swords. And then we've got Ambition. And so I'm getting many storylines. For some of you guys, there's somebody at work that you're very fond of who's going to, or, or who has or will stab you in the back, betray you somehow. Intuitively, you kind of feel it. It's like you always knew. Maybe you cared about this person and they you always knew that, that it was probably one sided, right? Queen of Cups is very loving and generous, and she's very intuitive and emotional. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles, which is ambition. Let's take a look at this energy. Rebellion. Yeah, I see that with the Scorpio energy. Rebellion, I high-five my inner rebel and invite them out to wreak some healthy, law-abiding havoc. My inner rebel has a way of turning things inside out and making them way more interesting. We're talking coloring outside the lines, boom. Modifying a recipe, bam. Wearing stripes with plaid, mic drop. So, when <laughs> you've got, you've got intuition with deep knowing and ambition. So there could be somebody who is very ambitious who's going to create some damn havoc. Take it. If it's you, take it. Own that shit, man. Rebellion. I high-five my inner rebel. Maybe you're rocking the boat. Maybe you're about to break somebody's damn heart, right? Even though you were fond of them. Or maybe you're doing it because Ace of Cups is self-love too. Maybe you needed to do it. 
Ambition, Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, who am I reading for? Aquarius. Boy, you got everybody's energy here but yours. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, King of Cups, Knight of Wands. I feel like there's a lot of crap going on wherever you work. There's a lot of people. A lot of people. You might work with a, a co-op, like a lot of people. There might be a lot of people where you work. Some of them you like and some of you, you don't. Some of them are a pain in your ass. But we've got ambition here. With the Eight of Swords imprisoning it. Hmm, guys, deep knowing with intuition and your fear, the fear that you hold is weight. It's like you know that a change needs to occur because maybe there's some underhanded stuff with people around you. Can I go a little deeper here? Magician. So many people here. So many people. Quite honestly, I just think that there's too many cooks spoiling the pot. I think you're you're wanting to bust free. You're wanting to get out of there. Rebellion. I'm wanting to bulk the system. I want to be free. I want to follow my ambitions. Intuitively, I've been feeling, intuitively, deep knowing that it's time for me to break free. It's time for me to break free and create some kind of change. But doing so is really going to, there's a lot of people that you're creating with. I mean, we've got nothing but people here. We've got the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and we've got the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. So we've got three queens. Somebody wants to move toward their happiness. And they're trying to create with determination and desire. Something they've always wanted to do. And it's going to disappoint people. And you're going to have to break free to do it. So take that as it resonates because, man, that's a lot. There's a lot of people involved here. If I if I ignore the suits, if I just read intuitively and just read the, the keywords, right? We have fondness, intuition, ambition, imprisonment, disappointment, fascination, desire, determination, inner skills, motion, and satisfaction. And then we've got this rebellion and wait with deep knowing. So if I don't look at them as people, but I do believe you're you're dealing with quite a few people. You might work in, in a big co-op or something where you've got a lot of a lot of partners. Maybe it's somebody like me, you know, like like you're not just creating for yourself, you're creating with many other people. But what I see for a theme is intuitively you know that's, that you need to bust free. You need to get out. And yes, it's going to disappoint some people. But you, you, it's because you, you desire it. You desire something different. Magician, you're creating it. Queen of Wands, determination. You're determined. This, you know, you're probably a woman. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you could be a man watching this. But I'm seeing feminine energy all over this. Three queens. <laughs> three queens, one king. We got one king. Three queens and one king. Good thing it's not your love and romance reading. That's all I got to say. So financially, uh, you've been stuck. And you've been, you know, eight of swords. That's thinking. I need to make a decision. I want out. Right? I want out. I want out. I want to rebel. I have ambitions. My intuition tells me it's time to go. Even though I kind of like, I'm fond of all these people. It's going to break some hearts. It's going to disappoint some people. But I need to shoot my shot. Sagittarius energy here with the Knight of Wands. Desire. 
I need to take take aim, shoot my shot. But your fear is to wait. It's like you don't, you're not sure if the time is right. But I do see the magician. I see you creating it regardless. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, eclipse season. Spirit, intuition. Spirit's going to push you to do what's right. What's right for you, Ace of Cups. What makes you happy? Whatever it is, Spirit's pushing you. You already know. I mean, I've got am ambition, or I'm sorry, not ambition. I've got intuition with deep knowing. Whatever it is, you already know. But you're afraid to act at the moment. You're kind of, uh, that's your fear. So let's take a look at your love life because, I mean, it looks here like you want out. Let's take a look at your love life. There's that King of Cups. Was it King of Cups back? Yeah. King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Wands. Three of Cups. Strength. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Wow. I just want to, can I redeal this? Can I just start all over, Spirit? Because this is like competition. Yeah, there's something going on. There's a lot of people here. We got three queens and with a king of cups. And here we've got the king of cups with the ten of pentacles, the five of wands, three of cups. That could be, that could be a third party situation. Ten of pentacles could be a marriage. Five of Wands is internal. It could be competition. And boy, is there a lot of competition here. Queen of Pentacles again. Queen of Cups again. Seven of Swords. The world. The lovers. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. So let's see. I, I got to look at your, let's look at the, ex oh, yeah. I felt it. This is twin flame stuff. This is such a hot mess, man. Not for everybody. Okay. It's not for everybody. But if you're an Aquarian and you're dealing with twin flame stuff, divine feminine, there's a lot of female energy here. We've got three queens and it's the same damn queens on both sides of the table. Right? Was there a third queen? Yeah, queen of wands. Queen of wands for me too sometimes can be the other woman. Give me just a minute, guys. I'm clear audience and I'm listening to my spirit guides at the moment. They're talking to me. Karma. So we have someone from the past re-emerges in your life. This gives you the opportunity to handle things differently than you did before. Stand firmly in your power, yet stand also in the light of love. The universe is presenting you with a fresh opportunity to clear away any lingering karma linked to this relationship. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. We have here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. We have a note on love. Seek different reasons and enter into the unknown. When love is the focus, foundation, and goal, blessed is the body, the mind, and the soul. Seek different seasons. Enter into the unknown. 
when love is the focus, foundation and goal, blessed is the body, mind and soul. Oh, guys, it is going to be Mercury retrograde. So isn't it funny? I'm not even sure. You'll have to let me know if this has anything to do with your finances. Because this feels to me like, like the same story. <laughs> same story. Spirit's given it to you twice. Because this might not be finances and career. Take it if it resonates. I already told you what it could mean in finances and career. That you feel stuck. Intuitively, you know it's time to go. You've got ambitions. You've been looking for a way to move forward. You're going to have to hurt somebody or, or create some kind of a feeling of pain. Three of swords. Damn, guys. If that's your love life and it's just showing up twice, that's like spirit saying, we ain't screwing around with Aquarius this month. You know? Because we've got that king of cups. He's here twice, guys. He's right there. With the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Strength, the Three of Cups, and like a big surprise, a communication, surprise communication. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords with the World. Three of Wands, the Lovers. Wow. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Three of Cups. There's, yeah, there's too many people in this scenario. So either you or your person is with somebody else. And then if this ain't your story, then watch your moon rising in Venus. But... I'm seeing here that this King of Cups is probably married. Because under the deck is the King and the Queen of Pentacles, which is my husband and wife card. And this person's been struggling, having some kind of internal struggle because we got the Five of Wands with the Strength card, right? Right? With the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords, that tells me there's a third-party situation going on here. This person wants to make a connection. They want to they wanna reunite. They want to reunite. This card, I made this card, but I set my intentions and I blessed it and put it in this deck. It looks just like all the other cards, but it was it's a Dame Darcy. This is a picture of the creator. It was such a pretty card, I didn't want to throw it out. Or not use it. So I wrote on it, auspicious, totally unexpected. Communication, fortune, lucky turn of events, or a surprise communication. The Queen of Pentacles versus the Queen of Cups. Three of Wands. If I go really deep, and I'm not going to, because that's going to be in the extended. So I'm just going to tell you the energy. There are, there is, and it doesn't have to be Zodiac, okay? King of Cups is somebody that has a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions, but they don't necessarily talk about them or show them. They're not on their sleeve. It's like they got a harder, hard outer shell and that it's, it's like, um, it's Scorpio energy. So it's like, you know, kind of hard on the outside, but ooey gooey chewy on the inside, right? With the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. This person has inner conflict around their stability, their family, their legacy, their money, their home life. Something they're very committed to, something that they've built, their legacy. And there's children involved. But it's probably twin flame energy because we've got under here, we've got the lovers. And we've got divine feminine energy on the table. 
we've got karma it's very karm this could be a note of love here and now your true love is already part of your life somebody's making a choice i don't see a choice yes i do the lovers is a choice card the lovers is a choice card but some there's so it i think it's this king of cups and king of pentacles i think this king of cups is actually married and that's why he's showing up as the king of pentacles he's been wanting to make a choice when it comes to love and he's choosing between the wife and the lover which is probably a water sign it doesn't have to be could be this earth sign but someone from the past is coming back into your life with a note of love it's probably this king of cups and he's probably married and got children and you probably resonate with being his divine feminine and this is your true love and it's a very karmic connection so guys i don't want to leave you hanging i want to know more spirit how do i find out more which deck would i use to find out more because i just don't want to leave you hanging because this is like this is a lead up this isn't a i mean i can't leave this like this you guys need to know what the hell's going on can we clarify this whole love thing over here spirit i'm going to use the twin flame tarot deck if you don't resonate with being a twin flame it's okay you know yin is feminine energy and there's feminine energy all over the freaking place man we got three queens three on this side two on this side the same two on this side as this side oh shit, tracy drop the whole damn thing now i cussed and swore so it's going to take twice as long to upload the video because it goes through these stupid checks now that youtube is doing to make sure that you're not talking about the jab or politics or has nothing to do with the children they're like oh yeah we want to make sure it's appropriate for the children well I just cussed and swore, so it probably isn't. I need to know, Spirit. I need to know what my poor Aquarians, not poor because it looks to me like you're about to get what you want. But I think when you get it, it's going to cost somebody else. Somebody else is going to get their heart broke. Which is sad for them. It's karmic. There's karma. There's karma here. All right, spirit. We need to know about Aquarius. I would like to clarify the June reading in Love and Romance for Aquarius. Please clarify this love reading for Aquarius. The Empress. There you go. We've got the Empress on the table twice, guys. We've got Divine Feminine, Yin. We've got the Empress here. I told you. I knew. I knew. What about this Empress? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Clarify this whole spread, please. Clarify. Tell us what we need to know. Knight of Pentacles. Steady progress. Tell me more. Tell me more. There's that Queen of Pentacles again. Three times, three times the Queen of Pentacles is here. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Death to the Queen of Pentacles brings happiness. I think your person is married. And I think that they need to end that marriage to come to you. And there's children involved. It's a third party situation. We got three of swords. We got three of cups. Can I get an outcome? Can we just get some kind of outcome so I can move to the extended and get into this? Can we get some kind of clarity for Aquarius? Hierophant, there's a marriage. 
There's a marriage. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from a marriage. Some bitch. It's the Queen of Cups. See, there she is again. Queen of Cups. Somebody, either the Queen of Cups is walking away from a marriage or the King of Cups is walking away from a marriage. One of you. Which is funny because neither one is an Aquarius unless... Oh, there's the Aquarius. Let me see that again, Spirit. I cut the deck. Yeah, the Aquarius is stuck. There you are. Okay. So the King of Cups is just how you're feeling or they're feeling. Take it as it resonates. All right. But I think all of these, these queens and kings, because if you're in a twin flame situation, the twins, in order to become the emperor and the empress, have to embody all four of the elemental signs, right? The emperor becomes the king of, he masters the king of cups, the king of swords, the king of uh, pentacles, and the king of wands. And so... We're going to get into this more in the extended, but yeah, somebody's walking away from a marriage. This was not an easy decision. This person, I think they love you both. And if it's you, you love both people. But one is like the person. <laughs> it's probably the person from the past that they're going toward. But their queen of their their wife or husband, because we've got both energies here, is not being depicted as an idiot. This is not an easy choice. This is a hard choice. Man. I don't like doing eclipse readings. They're so hard. They're so hard. There's so many people getting hurt. But then it's it's kind of a rebalancing. It's the universe saying, you know, these foundations, they're not. Everybody's playing chess and nobody's where they need to be. And spirit's just like, come on, we're going to come in. We're going to move all the pieces around. This person don't belong with you. They've been with you for too long. They actually have their own soulmate or, or destiny over here. And as long as they're working with you, they can't get where they need to be. You can't get where you need to be. And we're just going to shake that damn sugar tree. Well, I love you guys. If you want to join me over in Patreon for the extended of this, you can watch me get more frustrated as the universe tries to make sense to me on who these players are. I saw the star. That's Aquarius energy. And I saw the King of Swords. That's the Aquarian energy. When I was clarifying... But who are all these other people? I don't even know that it's necessary. I feel like there's only three people here. Three of swords, three of cups. There's three people. But I think that that you or your person is, is learning to evolve into all three kings or all, or I mean all four kings or all four queens. Either way, oh my God, June is going to be huge for a lot of people. Huge for a lot of people. <laughs> and I don't, I'm telling you, man, it's been tough to do these readings. But I'm going to go now over to the extended. And if you join me over on Patreon, it's only $4.44 a month and you get all the extendeds. And there's going to be a lot of them. There's going to be 12 on the 1st, 12 on the 15th. And then possibly if I can figure out how to do it for pick-a-piles, there'll be extendeds for that too. 
I'm not sure how to do that yet. It's a learning curve for me, guys. But there's going to be lots of content uh, for the the Patreons. It's going to be fun. We're creating. And if you're a twin flame, you need to be over there because that's where all the good stuff's going to happen for the twins. That's where I get to be who I am. I am the oracle that is here, incarnated at this time to help three waves of twin flames and light workers that are on the ascension. And so my general stuff, I lose a lot of viewers when I start talking about specifics for the twins and the, the people on ascension. People are like, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm going to go over here and watch Tyler or Gemma or some of my favorites. Rich. So, yeah. If this resonates, I'm sorry. <laughs> And if this really does reflect your, your finances in the month of June, please drop a, a line in the comments and let me know. Because it just seems pretty damn profound how your finances are almost the exact same cards as your love and romance. So, you know, I think that spirit's just really trying to get you on the right page in your twin flame journey or your ascension journey. So... I will see you guys on the other side. If you'd like to book a personal reading to really get into the nuts and bolts of this, I can't blame you a bit. Everything you need to do that is in the description box below. I love you. Namaste.